What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here and in this video we're going to be going over 7 reasons to avoid getting the Samsung Galaxy A04s. So let's get started. Now the Galaxy A04s is meant to be a lower end Android device and with that under consideration you certainly shouldn't expect to get every feature out there. But at the same time there are 7 things with this phone that I do want to point out that I want you to be well aware of prior to getting it, just that there aren't any potential surprises. Also, with there being so many different Android devices out there, there might be certain features that your current phone has that you expect that every Android phone has as well. And just know that that typically is not the case. Now the first reason to potentially avoid getting the Galaxy A04s is the display that we're getting here with the phone. Now not everything about this display is bad, and I will be going over the good things in a second, but probably the biggest disappointment with it is that it is just 720p. Now the display does look decently crisp and clear, but you won't be able to watch full 1080p content on the display since it is not 1080p. Another thing too, since the display that we're getting here with the phone is not AMOLED, you don't get the best viewing angles out there, and when you're looking at the display in outdoor conditions, it's certainly not quite as bright compared to more premium Android phones. Now on the positive side of things, I do like that we're getting a very large canvas here at 6.5 inches, so if you do want to watch video content on the phone, it will give you a very immersive video viewing experience. And also, in addition to that, I do like that we are getting a 90Hz refresh rate with this device, essentially giving us a bit more of a smoother experience when going around the operating system, which, you know, compared to a 60Hz refresh rate, is definitely a bit better. Now the second reason to potentially avoid getting the Samsung Galaxy A04s is because there is no 4K video recording. Now for a lower end device, this is yet another feature that typically isn't that common to find, but at the same time, I don't want anyone buying this phone expecting that they can actually record video in 4K. Now you might wonder, what's the point of even recording video in 4K if with this phone, it has a 720p display and really barely any phones except for maybe the most premium ones out there actually have 4K displays. And the reason for that is, you might want to record video and show it on a 4K TV and have it be in that resolution that the TV is capable of showing it at. Nowadays, you can go into pretty much any electronics retailer and find 4K TVs in pretty much any price segment. In fact, pretty much even the lowest end TVs that they offer nowadays are also in 4K. So if this phone did have 4K video recording, then that would have been great because then the video that you capture with the phone can then be shown on that TV at its full resolution. Now when going into video mode on the camera app, you can see that it does support 1080p video, which is also known as FHD, but when I go to select another resolution, the only other option is regular HD, which is 720p. So again, you don't have that ability here, unfortunately. Now it is pretty convenient that we're already in the camera app, because that then moves us over to the third reason to avoid getting this device, and that is that there is no ultra wide angle camera with the Samsung Galaxy A04s. Now we do have a triple camera setup, with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera, and a 2 megapixel macro camera for close-up images, but there is no ultra wide angle camera to be found. Now despite this being a lower end device, I have covered a variety of different budget phones in the past that do have ultra wide cameras. Now typically those ultra wide cameras are not anything too special, they kind of do the bare minimum, but at the same time, if you've never experienced a phone with an ultra wide camera, then that is a nice preview into what that feature can provide for you. Essentially with that, you can fit a lot more of your surroundings into a single frame, which especially comes in handy if you want to kind of switch up the types of photos you're taking, or maybe you're on vacation for example, and you want to take a picture of a large building, or a variety of different scenery around you. And generally what I recommend is that when people have a feature like that on a lower end phone, if they find themselves using it quite a bit, then that does give them further justification to spend a bit more money next time they're due for an upgrade. So unfortunately there is no ultra wide angle camera as I mentioned but at least we do have a variety of different other cameras here on this device. So here's how things look with the standard camera, then from here we can go over to the more tab to access the macro camera, and with that we can get very close up and have things be in really good detail. We can then back out of there, head over to portrait mode and get those blurred out backgrounds, and then we can also flip around to the front facing camera and take portrait selfies as well. So I do appreciate that we have a lot of different abilities here like I mentioned, but I do wish that we also had an ultra wide camera on this device. Now coming in at number 4 is that there are no stereo speakers with the Samsung Galaxy A04s. 
Now thankfully, the main speaker on the bottom of this device is pretty decent, so you won't necessarily have a problem if you want to sit back, relax, and watch a video or listen to music, for example. But on more premium devices, and especially Samsung's S series, you do get speakers on both the bottom main speaker, and then the earpiece also functions as a general speaker as well. And with that, then, you're able to get a much more immersive audio listening experience with things being both clearer and louder. Now, this phone does, of course, have an earpiece, but it is limited to just phone calls, so it certainly would have been nice to see stereo speakers on this phone. That being said, though, considering that this is a budget device, I'm not necessarily surprised that we're not getting that feature, and I certainly wouldn't consider it a deal breaker if you're not looking to spend too much on a phone. Now, coming in at number five, definitely has to be the build materials. Now this phone, other than the display, which is made of glass, is made completely of plastic. Now there's two things I don't like about that. One thing is, with plastic in general, it does pick up a lot of scratches, so I would recommend pairing this phone up with some sort of case, just so that the phone stays fresh all throughout its lifespan. But also, the glossy finish on the back is another thing that I'm not really too big of a fan of, because it does pick up a lot of fingerprints. So you can already see some fingerprints here, and the more I use the phone, the more fingerprints that do end up appearing. So even if you don't mind seeing fingerprints on the back of the phone, I do still recommend pairing it up with a case, just so that it doesn't get very scratched up as time goes on. Now coming in number six, unfortunately, with the Samsung Galaxy A04s, there is no wireless charging. Now wireless charging is a feature that you typically would not find with a budget phone, so in that regard, that's fine, it's not a big deal, but at the same time, I would have liked to see it as that is a feature that I do use quite a bit with any phone that does support it. I have wireless chargers all throughout my home, including at my desk, at my nightstand, and then also in the kitchen. So it is very convenient just to throw the phone onto a wireless charger instead of having to plug into the main port all the time. And then another benefit of having wireless charging is that if for some reason your charging port gets damaged, then at least you do have an alternative method to recharge the phone until you are able to get that repaired. And then coming in for the final reason to potentially avoid getting the Samsung Galaxy A04s, and that is that there is no 5G compatibility with this phone. Now at this point in 2022, I do think you can get by without 5G, but at the same time, if you're going to go through all the time and effort to buy a brand new smartphone, I do feel like you should get one that does support your carrier's latest and greatest network. Now, I'm not aware of any immediate plans to phase out 4G LTE, as that still is a relatively new networking technology, but clearly 5G is where all the investments moving forward are going into. So even though you can get by without it right now, maybe in several years from now, you're really gonna wish that you did have a phone that did support 5G. And overall, the better network compatibility, the better, because you never know what situation you're gonna be in where you need to connect to your carrier's network. Now, I wasn't gonna include this, but I will throw it in as an added bonus. So I suppose this is eight reasons to avoid getting the phone, but I'm also not really a huge fan of the general design of the device. It's definitely very boring. There's nothing too exciting here, and certainly nothing that I've never seen before before from other phones, both from Samsung and other companies as well. This general form factor of having a water drop notch, along with a slightly thicker bottom bezel, has been repeated so many different times. I mean, this phone easily could have been launched in 2018, and it would have fit right in with the phones that were released in that time period. So we really haven't gotten that much innovation as far as form factors go with lower end phones, especially in the last several years. Consumers don't seem to mind because they continue to put out devices in this form factor. So I suppose that kind of goes to show that most people care more about the general usability and practicality of their smartphone rather than having something that looks necessarily that different or modern, especially compared to phones that have been released you know, in the last several years. So I guess if it's not a problem, then there's nothing really to fix here. But at the same time, it does make things a bit more exciting when there are you know, different designs that are released that are more innovative and interesting. But this concludes my video on seven reasons to avoid getting the Samsung Galaxy A04s. Like I mentioned, overall, I do think it is a pretty interesting device. Of course, it is a lower end phone, but at the same time, it does offer quite a bit. But those various things that I mentioned in this video are certainly things that you'll definitely wanna be well aware of prior to getting this phone, just so there aren't any potential surprises when you end up getting it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you own a Galaxy A04s, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. But this is Kevin here, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a great rest of your day.